Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel Yes, thank you for coming back to the channel Alright, and you see who we're going to be talking about today Yes, I have been just really trying to let it ride Hoping that Nene would sit her ass down somewhere Because she brought the majority of the issues on herself Because she was feeling herself She was feeling herself thinking she was Beyonce or something Or something to that nature I don't know what she thought she was She went to Hollywood and they let her bite of that apple And she just went crazy Crazy, crazy, crazy And she totally has been going downhill since greg left her okay so i'm like uh maybe greg was the glue that kept her sane because right now she's acting totally insane and the funny part about it she's not posting a lot about yoni or naoni or naoni or whatever his name is he definitely ain't no greg because greg used to put up with her shit but Yoni or Nayoni, he's not gonna put up with her shit. He ain't gonna pull up with anything of negativity. And right now, that's the only thing surrounding Nene is negativity. I don't know where she thought she was going, trying to play with this youngster over here. But I think it was fictitious. I think they just set up and put, you know, um, pictures out to let people think that she's probably going younger. You know, messing with the younger uh, generation. But, you know, <laughs> Nene was trying to give Portia some um, advice when she went off on Kenya and tried to do all what she did. She was just saying, you know, if you saw me um, getting physical with somebody, that's one thing. But you never caught me like they caught you. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Well, where's your man with the furry slippers, Nene? Where is your man with the furry slippers? Slippers. So I thought it would be befitting if Portia would see check on Nene basically. Because I guess Nene did check on Portia here and there when she was going through her nonsense of, of you know, things out in these Atlanta streets. Uh, Portia, you should do better because uh, you always call her your big sister. And even when y'all had child times on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, Y'all had made up and all this type of stuff. And um, it just seems like she needs a friend. Because all the people that she thought was her friend, they're not. And I guess Yoni, Nayoni, is basically sensing that a lot of people just don't like her. And it's going to be bad for her business. Especially when she's coming out talking real loud for everybody to hear her. That Bravo is just totally against her. They don't blackball her. All this nonsense. I'm saying nay nay. So can you and Papa Smurf or uh, Father Time go over there and see what y'all can do to help Nene get out of her slump? Because she definitely is not cashing Trump checks anymore. And it seems like the only person that she may talk to would be probably you, uh, Portia. And I'm still wondering, where are the lady, the lady of excellence? You know, that group of women that were doing their own thing. Uh, they were entrepreneurs and she was trying to shake Candy and who was there at the time? There was Candy, Eva, and Kenya or something. She was trying to meet them at some whatever. Some little lounge they were calling themselves trying to eat at. And Nene was basically saying these were her friends. And that the women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta wasn't her friends. And I was like, oh, Lord. And then, of course, you know, she had to go get the queen outfit. And, you know, Portia was like the princess. And they were just showing their asses on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But as you both can see, or we, or they both can see, and we all know, neither one of them are on the show right now. Portia is trying to get her ass back over there in some type of capacity. Or, because uh, I, I really don't want to see a wedding special. Because it's just like... Uh, I'm over it. Get married and let them follow you uh, like after the wedding bells have been said and done and now y'all really living together and trying to see what it does. But Nene, do you remember when you called this Jewish white man a racist? Do you remember that, Nene? And 
he gave, or Bravo is ex, gave Kim Zosiak and Lisa Vanderpump their own show. But you did not get one, Nene. Okay, so what happened? We all knew you liked it to hang around white folks. And if, as long as they was eating your behind up and everything you were doing, you were cool with it. But then you got on the outs with Andy and just went haywire. I mean, you told told everybody that you cashed Trump checks and this and that and the third. I mean, he lost the election this go around. Well, he think people stole it from him, but it just is what it is. Maybe you go work for his cabinet. Maybe you can get into something else because it don't look like the Hollywood life is for you anymore. Then you sat and told this long story about Wendy and her husband Calvin or Kevin at the time stole your opportunity of becoming a TV host and I'm like okay who would really watch your show Nene because you're not that you're not an eloquent speaker and I've been thinking you don't have no journalistic type of background so you had your little spiel when you went and co-host with the real um a couple of times a few times and i don't know whatever other stuff you hosted that could say you could hold down a title like that because you can't even do your youtube channel correctly i mean I, i don't understand and you so upset with candy here and there just because she's what 10 14 years younger than you and she knows how to go and pitch ideas to the execs but one thing i can say wendy got money she can retire today and go on about her business don't even have to look at working no more and it pretty much the same way as well but what you gonna do nina you don't downsize from your house you don't bought or renting out a lease apartment downtown in the executive parts like you making that kind of money like you're allowed just doing that well and every time you get a chance to shake candy you out there tan her up and i'm like nobody stole no opportunities from you nene it was your mouth now you on your instagram promoting blacks should stand up for blacks especially black women but we going over to Portia's world. Because she's doing a lot of things that we don't like either. But we really thought you and her had made up. And y'all are like big sister, little sister again. So, Nene, you need help, baby. You need help. That Hollywood life, you effed up. Okay? Because you did the same thing Portia did. You ran for greener pastures. You went out to California. Had no acting abilities. No acting um, experience behind you. You call yourself going out there to get a coach. Because you was having that film. While you were still trying to do both Real Housewives of Atlanta. And still trying to get into the movie scene. The acting scene. And it did not fare real well. Because you never stayed with that lady. Or found somebody else. If you didn't too much care for her. And her acting ability. And trying to show you. Coach you. But you were trying to get on a sitcom show. Where you couldn't just ad lib. You had to say the words that people had wrote or the writers had wrote for you to say and i think they was just spoon feeding you and hands feeding you because they saw potential and they wanted you to you know be a part of their circle but you even f that up okay stuff just went left right or whatever and things just closed down then you had to hightail it back here and get back on the show through the door of being a friend again to cynthia that's how you got back on the show but all this other stuff your likability went down the toilet when you start calling people racist and wanting to sue your employer calling people cokeheads and all of this stuff you think people just gonna forget all that then you told andy don't put he shouldn't put your name in his mouth and i was like girl and then uh 
other than you talking ugly about Candy and trying to make her feel bad about your situation that you put yourself in, did you think about you have fell out with Cynthia? You have fell out with Kenya. And this is when y'all, I think probably season five is when um, Portia came on the board. Y'all looked so lovely, you know, the skin tones and everything. Now Nene don't went up several shades. But, I mean, you fighting with Candy still. You used to fight with Portia. But then somehow y'all mended fences again. Um, then you were uh, Claudia Jordan. You were fussing with her. You were fussing with the production crew. Because they went in your, um, your um, closet, walk-in closet. And you didn't want them there. And you just snatched the man's shirt off. And then you knocked out one of his teeth and lied about it. I'm like, girl, really, Nene? Then you was on the outs with Eva. You were definitely out with Sheree and Marlo. Because I ain't seen y'all hanging out lately on neither one of y'all social media platforms. Then you had something. You know, you've been t attacking Wendy Williams and her legs and her illness and stuff. So I'm like, who in the world would want you? I mean, you were up there. You could have grabbed all that gusto and, 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 and uh, what do you call it, fame malicious being a famous person but you got the big head i don't know who made you get the big head because you said don't make a drama of your drama but that's what you're doing honey that's what you're doing now you making your drama be your drama and you're letting everybody in society that has ears to hear and eyes to view you're getting on our nerves in a sense Every last one of them people you don't fell out with. And Greg tried to make sure them were your friends. To keep them around you. Since he was more of your very long, lengthy type friend. Uh, and she, you got rid of her. And I, I just don't know what what place you and y'all were at there. But like I said, Portia has still been somewhat in Nene's life. But the two that call themselves the princess and the queen, both of them are off the show of their own doing. So, I have pretty much talked enough on that. But let's get into what um, this uh, news outlet called Hip Hop or Hot News. Um, hot New Whip News or Hot New Hip. Wait a minute. Hot new hip -hop .com news okay we have a erica marie wrote this article she titled it nene leaks claims she's been blacklisted and is being followed and harassed and i'm like no nene before i even go into the article you harassing us with all this mess that you talking and how much your team dropped you because they couldn't somebody had bought off your legal team that you had surrounding you uh, and see so you getting into paranoia land is what you're doing i think you need to see a therapist seriously and see what you can do outside of this conundrum you have gotten yourself into because you're just being strictly messy messy out there but going on into the article says at the parting ways with bravo and real housewives leaks calls for a boycott of the network okay and that's because she got greedy they weren't going to be paying her what she felt she need to be paid and she she just wasn't going to hear of it and i heard somebody talking about it because i really didn't get too much into it because i think it was just nene had got her feelings hurt and she just wanted to just rain on everybody's parade because she wasn't being seen as the top dog anymore. They said that um, the last time she was with them. And they were trying to negotiate, negotiate her contract. They weren't putting her in a lot of episodes. But they were paying her the same pay. As if she would have been in all those episodes. So I'm like okay. You got to do less work. You're going to be not seen in say if they gave you 10 episodes you'll probably only be seen in four of them but they were going to pay you your same pay as if you were in all 10 episodes that's a no-brainer i would have took that deal and said nothing else less work for me more travel time but yet i still get paid so i, I, I i'm not understanding where nene didn't see that she was winning in the situation 
But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Just as one accusation of being blackballed has been resolved, another one has arisen. We recently saw Monique and Lee Daniels reconcile after a decade of tension. Now, we ain't really going into that. I don't even want to hear Nene comparing herself, or this person that's writing this article, comparing Nene Leakes to Monique. Uh, situation with Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels and all that and Oprah Winfrey because for one Monique said it very clearly they only paid her to make the movie they didn't pay her additional monies to go promote the movie so I understood exactly where she was coming from but then again Monique is a trained well developed comedian as well as actress Meaning, and she used to have her um, own sitcom show called Papakras. So she knew all about the business. Nene only had reality, a reality show. And then you basically, they ain't really, you know, it might be a little scripted here and there. They may tell you what they want you to give them out of a scene, you know. But you still ad living. You still putting your own words to the paper. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're living in your emotions trying to make a scene come alive, basically. And she's good at doing that. But when they're asking her, when she was going on Glee and the new norm and all that, them folks had to learn their scripts. You see what I'm saying? They had to learn their lines. And I knew Nene was going to have a hard time doing that because age is a factor. And then she don't have that discipline and she don't have that foundation of being an actress to learn to have to learn the lines so that was going to be her biggest obstacle and she didn't pay attention i mean if you wanted to be in you know movies and stuff like that you got to learn lines and that's just the bottom line or you're going to be a bottom feeder you know so um with her trying to say or compare herself to the monique situation that's just like apples and oranges okay so, no, the two do not go together. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, There are rumors about the tension between Nene Leakes and Candy Burris, and some people believe that the latter has influenced decisions behind the scenes. While the gossip has yet to be verified, Leakes, who called for a boycott of the Bravo Network, stirred the pot when she tweeted, They always blacklist you when you tell the truth. Not, no, not in your case, Nene. I don't believe so because you were doing a whole hell of a lot of shit on your own. Even people here in Atlanta that saw you in the streets of Atlanta, they may have wanted an autograph or a hug, a little photo selfie, and you were cussing them folks out. And they had you on uh, news one time, getting into it with somebody at the airport. Okay? And that was a hot mess right then and there. That shows how, you know, careless your mouth is. And you just don't understand. We, the people that look at your stuff, we, in a sense, get you the pay. Because if we gather around you and say, oh, we like you, you're very valuable to the network that you're working for because they know you have a big fan base but when you start to alienate your fans your fanatics then that's when you lose likability and you lose your viability to negotiate good contract and good money for yourself because you don't have that fan base in them anymore you don't alienate people you see where i'm going with this Nene? you see and you're still tearing yourself down day by day week by week month by month year by year by keeping up with this same funky attitude and you think that man is gonna stay anywhere near you you're like toxic anybody gonna deal with you and you think you're gonna bring him revenue no you're gonna turn people away and maybe that's why we haven't been seeing him with you lately hmm but going back um it said, uh, where was I? She didn't offer up an explanation, but the Real Housewives of Atlanta star did tweet fans messages of support. A second post by Leaks seemed to target Bravo, the network where Leaks got her launch into stardom. See, there we go. They spoke truth in that. That was the catalyst, the show that shot her straight up in the air to achieve, to, uh, 
get what she felt she needed to get out the organization meaning hollywood and she failed she failed miserably so now she wants to blame in and everybody okay but going back she's saying stop harassing me my business and my family she wrote stop having me follow stop blacklisting black women for speaking the truth stop paying off attorneys to not file discrimination claims stop it Leaks found herself on the wrong side of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's production after she allegedly, allegedly assaulted a crew member during the film who went into her personal space in her home after telling them to stay away. Okay? So I'm like, Nene, first of all, who are these folks that's supposed to be following you? Are you sure you're not going into the depths of paranoia? Is your anxiety high at this point? Because I know... It takes money to run a club or a lounge or whatever you call it because you have to think about, you know, a lot of things that go along with the operation. That's something you really didn't know about and you just felt that you had to do. Same thing with your clothing stores. You just, you know, had all this revenue coming from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So you were able to lease space and do all these other luxurious things. But now that the well has run dry or almost depleted itself, you're trying to do in and everything to make everybody look at you. But they're looking at you like you on fire. Like they're looking at you physically on fire and they don't know what to do. They don't know if they should save you or just let you burn up because your mouth, your tongue is so lethal. I wouldn't even want to hire you if you're out there black, you know, uh, saying all negativity about how I treated you, how I did this, how, but you can't, you can't show no receipts. Now, if any, if anything was true to nature, any lawyer would sit up there and go to bats for you if they can prove it. But hey, discrimination is very hard to prove, especially if. You're trying to play both ends. You're like, okay, you don't give me what I want you to do. Then I'm going to toss you back out there to the streets and say how unfair you are, this, that, and third. It's when you're just doing things to serve you, Nene. It's not like you're trying to serve the betterment of all women. Not just black women, but Asian women, uh, Native American women. Um... Am I missing somebody, y'all? Because I don't drew a blank. But just women in different cultures, I should say. You're not looking at it and presenting it from that standpoint. You're just talking about, oh, they don't hurt me and now I want to hurt them. Or My whole thing, if the organization don't want you, and that's when you are looking at it from a standpoint of just an everyday working hard hard working person and you're going to a company that's, that's been established for many many years and for some reason y'all values or y'all work ethics just don't uh, pair up anymore it could be you have outgrown the company and their ideas and their vision and you need to go somewhere else to be able to flourish or it could be they don't want you anymore for whatever reason and we stay in a city or state where they don't have to keep you they do not have to keep you. You could be fired or let go for any reason. And I'm pretty sure Bravo is looking at, at that as their option. Where they wanted you to succeed. But they felt you could not be succeeding with them any longer. Because how you look at things is not how they look at things. And when you mutually have a disrespect for one another. For whatever reason. It's not going to work anyway. So I'm just mind boggled on why do you want to continue working for a company that don't value you anymore. Forget the likability. They're not going to spend all their money on somebody who don't want to be there. Or they got to watch over their shoulder to see if they do this or want you to do that. Would you go back on your social media platform and blast them out? You are a liability. You are a very huge risk for them. And that because they're in the business of making money, not dishing out money because of lawsuits and this, that, and the third. And just say if you did win a lawsuit, 
how you spend money how you do whatever you do when you do try to make revenue you don't you don't invest it well it seems because as, as long as you had been on the real housewives of atlanta you were up there with uh trump and a, a american princess you were casting trump trump checks that's what you're trying to say, sh tell sheree about uh sheree whitfield when y'all was getting into it at the restaurant forgot what season it was then you know you try to be more than windy windy okay so it's like you don't burn bridges and people have not forgotten they may have forgiven you but they haven't forgotten and they don't want to lend that olive branch back out to you because they don't know when you're going to take that olive branch and turn around and hit them on top of the head when they turn around when they're not watching you so no i suggest that you make that lounge that you got into a a really hot spot where you will attract a lot of tourists you attract a lot of um celebrities and make that your goal mine because i just don't see it for you unless you're gonna go over there to the zeus network but you're definitely not gonna get what you were getting at real housewives of atlanta and this college hill thing i ain't really want to bring that up but since we know you on that show we know you don't hit the bottom of the barrel of the basket okay and this man named Naomi you supposed to be dating he must ain't got no money either or he must don't care too much about you because if he did he would tell you shut your mouth up look what you can do now and stop worried about what you can't do to have these people have you back because it don't look like they're going to do that for you so what are you going to do at this point point? and if he was a real man he would just put it to her like that but evidently he is just somebody possibly just trying to use her for a come up and use her contacts but even her contacts that she once had she's pretty much saying they have dried up ain't nobody uh checking for nene no more she's been canceled they ain't trying to answer her phone calls when she called them and when they do they definitely ain't trying to put their selves and their career on the line just to get her word child now i guess that's why she's being angry out on these streets and she's putting shit on her um what do you call it social media platform so she can get sympathy Ain't nobody going to take care of you like the Lord and your family. Because even your family will fail you at times when you think that she should be behind you. But the Lord ain't going to fail you at no time. So, honey, Nene, you're going to have to rethink your way of living life. And if it means going back to living a normal life, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Because the people that you surrounded yourself with... You could tell now that they're not your friends. They never were. Everybody was using everybody to get what they wanted to be. And that's pretty much how the Hollywood scene looks out for one another. And you got to do a lot of strange things for some change. Now, if that was part of your thing, why you didn't really stay too much in Hollywood? Because you didn't want to have to do certain things on certain teams of celebrities then you're just gonna have to like come back and be a normal person yeah everybody's gonna know you yeah everybody's gonna be like well, why you ain't doing this why you just work you don't worry about all that you got thick skin you said it before you a true bitch okay and a rich bitch at that even if it's not monetarily at this time you're still rich with family you still have that lounge you can definitely do something with you just need to get with the right people because that could be a definitely great spot for you. Especially to attract people that's coming in town for business. And they just want to, you know, hang out at a nice lounge. And, you know, with their crew or whatnot. You block it off or whatever. And, you know, they're going to remember you and how your hospitality uh, was when they come back to Atlanta. They might be bringing other people. And then you can have a stream of different Lanethia lounges because that seems like that's going to be your baby right now that truly was your baby because this whole thing about oh Atlanta Housewives was my idea and this was my thing that girl don't nobody want to hear that shit you only good as as the next person that's going to come up and replace you 
okay ain't number time that's all it is but that's all i have for this video guys get down in those comments all right like y'all have definitely been doing y'all been showing up and showing out y'all been so nice in the comment section i like that i really do and if you don't know i definitely started another channel another channel where i can try to beat the algorithm where i can talk about a lot of celebrities and a lot of comings and goings of what they do instead of my current channel i have now that i'm on where i strictly they don't streamline me or box me in where i'm not catching a lot of people that like other things from my um my commentary so yeah y'all gonna start seeing me over at my other channel cutting up and uh clowning over there and it's called make it make sense i think right now my daughter said it has a m with a green sticker on it you know like an avatar but don't have no face so uh i don't have those many subs on there so y'all need y'all to go over there and, and subscribe over there where i'll be talking about everybody from chris brown to uh i don't know the princess of uh, uh <laughs> the queen of england who knows okay but i want y'all to go over there and show me love over there but this is always going to be my main channel this is where i'm going to continue to grow but i just want to be able to talk about other things because once anybody that's trying to start a youtube channel be very careful of what you talk about and who you talk about because this algorithm that youtube uses is going to group you in a certain format and you're not going to be able to break out of the box and that's why a lot of other uh well-known youtubers have backup channels so they have several channels it's because they have gotten locked so you know they won't show they'll just show people that watch like real housewives of atlanta married and madison you know, those type of reality shows and they push your videos on that type of group of people that like that instead of if you talk about several different uh, celebrities or whatever but it's a mixture of stuff then you get into like total entertainment so that's what i'm trying to get into spread my mess around <laughs> the club all right but this show over here is gonna be always over here even if i don't like it anymore i'll probably shut down that channel but i doubt it because anything i pretty much start i like to keep it going if especially if i have the participation like y'all have shown me so much love on this channel but uh like i said it's called make it make sense the sense is spelled c-e-n-t-z i think it's in my community uh feed on this uh particular show or my platform over here if y'all go to the community tab i think my daughter said she put it in there for me so look out for that that's going to be something new and exciting and i hope y'all do like but it's going to be same old drama over here you know i'm gonna be grilling folks when i get tired of seeing them act the fool and i think they need to be tapped on the shoulder by me and my family and say uh we don't like what you're doing out here you know you cutting up too much just like nene she cutting up too much we need her to sit down find a good therapist and just chill for a while okay because it's coming up to september i told her i'm gonna take it nice on nene but you know the the, the other side gonna come out a while because when you don't did too much shit and i'm tired of looking at it, then i gotta really tell you how i feel about it but i'm trying cause i know she grieving and it's really no time period on grieving it's just you start to build a, a tolerance but right now she had went so fast so far you know she went so far so fast quickly after um greg's passing to where we we didn't know what 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 what, what can we say about nene because you know we didn't want to offend her but we didn't want her to see like she's running just you know acting her ass out here and then she started dating trying to be a cougar out there she's just doing too much so i had to let her alone but child when she coming up here and trying to you know constantly get on candy and candy attributes of what she's trying to do and you know, Candy really broke it down to her nicely and said, look, honey, I just think of stuff. Me and my husband, God, we just think of stuff and we pitch it. 
we pitch it to Bravo and the executives. And if they don't like it, they don't like it. But we go back into what they call it, the lab or your think tank. And we think of something else. And we just be doing it on a daily basis. And that's what Nene should have been doing. I mean, I know when you get like my age and her age, I think we both 54. You get tired. Because I'm telling you, I'm looking for retirement. And then I'll definitely be doing my YouTube 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got to wake up and go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I just go into my office, start taping videos the whole day if I wanted to. You know, tape about four or five. And then rest of the two days. Unless something pop off in them streets. And then I got to come back and talk to you. She could have been a radio personality. But they ain't going to touch her. Because they're going to be like, shoot. We don't pay Nene right. You know, she's going to be blasting us out. And see, that's what really got Nene in trouble. She don't know how to negotiate. She don't know how to talk to people. And let it stay there. Wherever y'all meeting, let that shit stay there. And if y'all disagree, y'all argument, then okay, just disagree to dis to agree, and then come back at another time, maybe with another plan of action. But now Nene got bit by that bug that somebody done told her she was the it factor, and lo and behold, now we're seeing the mess. Cause the mess was uh, starting before Greg uh got sick with cancer and all of that, and um it was already starting, but. Lord know we know it's gonna be igniting into a combustion of flames, you know, and that's pretty much where it went. Went, I mean, Nene would be in, um nasty to her customers over at the lounge because somebody wanted her to say happy birthday to him, and then she started saying, "I don't feel like saying no happy birthday," you know, because Greg was in a very uh, bad state at the time. I think he was transitioning uh, into another plane of existence at the time, and you know, she just took all, you know, just telling folks her business and everything, or why she feeling the way she. Is. I'm like, girl, you should have stayed home for all that shit. Cause when people come out and they come to uh, patron your business, they don't want to hear all about your problem because they got problems too. That's why they over at your joint trying to be relaxed, release, and let them feel a little something until they have to go back to their drama lives. You know. Uh, after some hours have passed, so it was just she was just doing too much, too much, too much. But that's all I got for this video, guys. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye bye.